Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic and as you can see, yes, we have a 10,000 hook line. We actually have 10 of them and uh, we set, oh, that was strange, uh, we set, how many is this? This is number five. I'm thinking about doing one more so I'd, uh, I decided to bring you guys along and uh, so on. So hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. Today is the 13th of March. And it's 11.09. So, my wife has gone up north, and I had to sleep alone in my house. Which is actually kind of weird, not going to lie. Uh, I mean, she's always with me all the time. And uh, what was even better <laughs> is uh, we had, like, hurricane force winds last night. Torrential downpours and everything else. Like, out of the blue. And it's like, oh, great. So, uh, you know, if you have never been home alone... Um, there's a lot more creaks and cracks and everything else that you don't realize when you're with somebody. And, uh, so there was a bunch of, you know, creaks and cracks and winds and howls and everything else. It was, it was pretty interesting, not gonna lie. So, uh, you know, I did the normal and, and, uh, went to bed at like 9 o'clock and slept like a baby. But, anyway, other than that, that is all that's going on. But I think, like I said, I think we're gonna put one more line down. Uh, we are in the same spot as we were before, right down here. Like I said, we set three crab, and then uh, actually that one's crab too because they already set it up and they didn't let me change it. And then we're going to do one more of mackerel. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll um, be able to uh, get some get some good stuff get some good fish because we need some money we are down to two hundred and seventy six thousand dollars which isn't fantastic not at all but I have been getting comments about uh, scallops and stuff like that and apparently it's working all right so gonna have to maybe try that again I'm not sure what boat uh, maybe the ocean scout I think the ocean scouts the best one in my opinion so maybe we'll get that one as we move along. But anyway, with that being said, like I said, hopefully everybody's having a fantastic uh, weekend. And uh, when this video hits you, it'll probably be a Tuesday. Not, not for sure. Oh boy. But let's see. I mean, it's just... Everything's absolutely haywire right now. Um, I actually put a poll up on... Uh, on, on YouTube uh, the other day. I can't remember exactly what day. No, nope, don't want to listen to that. Uh, let's see. When did I... Shut up, shut up. Been watching the, the TikToks or whatever, you know. But here, let's see. So, I guess now is a good time to let everybody know why I posted the poll on YouTube the other day. Uh, so, I guess it was yesterday. Um, yesterday or the day before. Who knows? I can't remember. But anyway, I said the decision may be bigger than you think. Choose wisely and thank you for the support. So if you haven't filled out that poll, go on the YouTube and, uh, and fill it out. It's actually much bigger than what you think. Uh, no, I, I'm not having a baby. My wife's not having a baby. It's, uh, well, I mean, technically. Um, she wanted another puppy. So we're getting another puppy. Great, right? And supposedly it is a... Oh, what is it? It is a Golden Shepherd. So it's a um, Golden Retriever German Shepherd mix. It's a, it's a dog that I've always wanted. And, um, yeah, I guess we're going to get it. And honestly, it wasn't too terribly bad. Um, supposedly it's only going to be $200.00. Uh, so that's not bad at all. But uh, we have to get the second, third, and fourth rounds of boosters or shots or something or other. She knows more about it than I do. I I don't know nothing, to be really honest with you. Strange. Sounds like electric. Anyway. So yeah. So that's going to happen. And supposedly, supposedly... The ones or the one that she wants is going to be a girl. So the uh, the options was Briar, Juniper, um, Phoenix, and Willow. And so far, she really likes Phoenix. And uh, a few people 
like um, like Willow 2 and a few people like Phoenix. So, so far, there's been 14 votes. 50% was Phoenix, 29% was Willow, and 21% was Juniper. And, uh, like I said, she's pretty much going with Phoenix anyway, just because, I don't know. She said that Phoenix was, was talking to her, so it's probably what she's going to go with. But what the funniest thing about it is, is that, you know, Phoenix is hot, been there been there a few times, well, actually once, is really hot. So, I mean, it's kind of funny that she wants to go with that. <clears throat> but other than that, that is what's going on. That is what the poll uh, was all about. So, not too terribly bad. But let me tell you what. Work yesterday. So, yesterday was Saturday, since today is Sunday. And yesterday was an interesting day. Not going to lie. So, you know, I went to work. Everything was fine and dandy. You know, hauled some leachate. Um, and if you don't know what leachate is, like I said, I work at a landfill. And I drive semis and haul trash around the county. So basically, uh, leachate is when you have trash and you have uh, everything else that goes into the landfill. Um, all that decomposes and, and turns into a water, right? And then we have this 400,000 gallon silo that fills up with this leachate stuff and uh, I haul it to the sewer plant. So that's what I do, right? So I hauled two loads of that, nothing too nothing too fancy. Hasn't been raining a lot except last night just started torrential downpouring, which is fantastic because we need it. Um, but yeah, everything else was fine. So then I came back and my boss wanted me to uh, to go out <coughs> to uh, to the coast. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I, uh, I jumped in uh, a box truck and um, a box truck, what I mean, is, is two 50-yard boxes. So I have a truck and trailer and stuff like that. So we're getting in there, and the the volt meter or voltage meter was, like, on 10, right? The lowest it can be. And I called him over, and he comes over, and I show him, and he's like, yeah, that's not good. So then he's like, well, let's not go to the beach because we didn't know if I was going to make it or not. Well, so I hauled another load of leachate, and, uh, and you know, nothing nothing too bad yet. And the funniest thing, oh, daggummit, the funniest thing was is that when I, when I come back, um, it's, it's relatively empty. We can't go below 5,000 gallons because then it picks up all the sediments and stuff that you don't want. So then we, we picked up... Uh, or I come back up because, you know, like I said, there's nothing else to do. And he goes, hey, I want you to go down down south. And I'm like, okay, that's, you know, fine with me. So I get going down uh, get going down south in the same truck that, you know, the voltage meter was not good whatsoever. Uh, Isaac is my long liner, right, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Let's just throw these fellers all around. And uh, so, yeah, so I went down south picked up two brush boxes uh you know not too bad not too bad and uh everything was fine and then all of a sudden i come back to the landfill dumped the boxes uh, or emptied the boxes and then he's like oh yeah go swap out an iron or a metal right so i swap out the metal and and when i'm coming back up because we got to weigh everything but when i'm coming back up the truck was like trying to die so i i somehow managed to save it shove the truck back into first gear and i get up the hill well then i get up maybe 500 feet more and it starts to die again i'm like shit you know that ain't good and then i look down at the voltage meter and it's like buried under 10 right so there's absolutely no power basically at all and i'm like well shit this is uh this isn't good so then I uh, I dropped the box off the truck just to get it off. And then I was like, okay, I got to get the truck up the hill. Got to get the truck up the hill. So I start going up the hill as far, as far as I can. I made it maybe 500 feet. That's it. 500 feet and the truck just dies. <laughs> Done. I'm like, well, shit. That ain't good. Didn't get to where I wanted to go. And so I called my boss. And I'm like, hey, uh, the, the truck died. 
like I, I can't go any farther like it it's kaput <laughs> and he's like all right i'll be down to pick you up and i'm like okay good so he comes down and i weigh the metal set it aside da, 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 da. and he's like well it's all your fucking fault and i'm like hey you're the asshole to fucking make me make me make me go so ah boy it was it was interesting to say the least it was uh very interesting i never actually killed a truck like that before you know like with a car as long as you keep it running it's fine but that was always with a dead battery not a dead alternator i gotta wait three minutes slow down oh there we go perfect but yeah so with the the alternator is shot like it's it's done but the truck is a 2001 so the truck's 21 years old oh god that was a terrible catch i thought for sure we'd get more than that anyway but with a uh a 21 year old truck who knows when's the last time they changed the alternator if they even did it has 589,000 miles on it so i mean quite a few quite a few not the not it, it, the truck has eh, relatively the normal miles the most miles we have on the truck is a is a 2002 with almost 800,000 miles on it and that's quite a bit that's quite a bit so, eh, it's not bad, not bad. But yeah, it I I killed the truck yesterday, and and I wasn't very happy about it because my boss told me to take it. Twenty four thousand pounds. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Here, let's see quotas. Mm, didn't really go up as far as I'm aware. Oh wait, if I do this, wait, this gutting. We'll see how good they're getting. Uh, average of four. We can do with that. As long as it stays with four, that's all that really matters, I guess. These guys are much faster than... Okay. Are you a better line hauler? Long line is a two. No, you're not. You're terrible. Long line is an eight. Okay, what about you? Long line, ten. Okay, good. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. <laughs> kind of. I really need to take like a screenshot or something to see where I have everybody and then keep them. But I keep forgetting to do that. I, I basically forget to do everything, honestly. But uh, another uh, person uh, commented on on the uh, Fish North Atlantic video. And uh, of course I do appreciate that. And they said that they got the game. And uh, they were asking me, you know, quite a few questions about the game and stuff like that. And I try to answer them honestly. This game definitely has its ups and its downs. Definitely. Um, it's interesting to say the least. But, I mean, it's a good game. It's a good game. I mean, Ten Man absolutely loves the game. It's a good game. But it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it's... Uh, better than sometimes others i mean it's a lot of the same thing i think i mean the like he was they were talking about the water and how uh you know they want rough water and stuff like that and it used to have rough water you know used to have storms and such like that but sadly it just just you know doesn't anymore which is kind of annoying let's actually get in here and skip an hour there we go. So then this one's ready to go. No, it's it's not. How? How how was that? What? I said an hour, and it didn't skip an hour. There we go. Emma's leveled up. Sweet. Hey, we're almost stacked it all up. That's good. Oh, there we go. There's the there's the fish I wanted to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, hmm, maybe thirteen, maybe fourteen, somewhere in there. That's not terrible. Better than five. So this will probably be the 50, 60, 50 or 60 uh, thousand pound mark, if I had to guess. But we're also on the fish as well, so. No, I don't want that one. Let's do this one and that one. I don't, I don't want to see that. 
Let's see. So it should be more Haddock than anything. Or Pollock. Not Haddock. Pollock. So it's 24,269 pounds. So as soon as they get this up, hopefully it'll hit like, you know, 100,000 or something. I don't know. Hopefully we'll catch a lot more fish than what we have. Well, I want to fill this boat up. Because as soon as you fill this boat up, it should be a few mil anyway. It should be like three, four million. Then we can either keep doing the long line aspect or we can maybe go to uh, scallops or something like that. I don't know. I haven't really haven't really done scallops. Um, scallops have pissed me off in the past just because it's been buggy and everything else. So, not for sure. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? Let me know in this video and then probably next week uh, I will do that. So, if you guys want me to do something else, let me know in the comments. And then we'll go from there. We got two more fish, and hopefully we'll see what is crack a lacking. What is crack a lacking? Huh? We're close. Seventy-three thousand seven hundred pounds. Now that was a good haul. Probably need to catch or uh, set out a few more lines, to say the least. Here, let's actually skip and just. Rome? Man, that was over a mile away. That was insane. Absolutely insane. Here, let's see. We got 66,000. Yeah, so they got about 8,000 or so. This is what really... What's really funny is, is the amount of time it takes to get all of the fish and stuff like that gutted and stuff like that. Especially with the Hermes. Um, it, you know, you catch... I think you can catch up to like 200,000 pounds or something like that in a net, if I do remember correctly. And if that is the case, that is a lot of fish. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of fish too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's a full line, so hopefully, let's hit 100,000. Let's hit 100,000. Like I said, may have to, may have to go with a 10 line string but uh, we'll see and my mouse is dying so that's not good huh do I have to does this thing take a battery nope it's one of them charging well hopefully it lasts me through the uh, <laughs> through the recording here because uh I don't know where my where my cord went, so that's not great. All right, let's get this going down here. Over two miles away, as an hour away, so it should. Eh, we'll get there about half an hour or so, give or take. Give or take. Oh my goodness! But yeah, when when the storms hit and everything else, the allergies is just going ballistic. Because, I mean, it was it was blowing and going, I'll tell you what. It, it was like a torrential monsoon thing going on. Um, I mean, it was blowing easily about 60 miles an hour gusts-wise. Probably an uh, uh, average of 25, if I had to guess, with, you know, with a gust of up to 60. Ah, uh, boy. You know, and hauling brush and stuff like that, all the dust and dirt and all that pollen and and, you know, everything else is just gets right in your eyeballs. and It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. But, oh, well. Pays the bills, right? So, can't complain too terribly much about it. Can't complain. But let me tell you what. It just, it wasn't fun. It was actually kind of funny, too, because, uh, actually, th this, this aspect, it, oh, 116,000 pounds. It really pissed me off, to be 1,000% honest. And uh, everybody that has a CDL and has drove semis will understand, hopefully, what I'm talking about. So, I, like I said, I got my CDL when I was 21. Um, it was later when I was 21, uh, almost 22, but I, I got it when I was 21. And so the bad part about it was is that I was, I was confident but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, you know, cocky, right? Con confident, not cocky. There's a big difference. Well, 
at work there is a there's like three people that want their CDL and which is fine right you know you you can have your CDL it's a good thing to have you know the trucker shortage that isn't a thing and everything else you know it's fantastic to have the problem is is that yesterday like these people want me to help them get their CDL and this particular person uh, runs the scale house, right? Like, uh, like I said a little bit earlier, every every load that we bring in, whether it's brush, metal, trash, whatever, has to be weighed. So they run the scale house. Well, the problem with that is, is that get it, get it. Why did you not get it? You are stupid. Here, let's turn a little bit then, maybe. There we go. Eh, not the greatest. But anyway. So anyway. Earlier yesterday, uh, we were talking about um, driving a truck. Right? And I said, you you have to be afraid of it. You know? Like, that's the first thing that hit me was you have to be afraid of it. And, and honestly, you're not afraid of it. There's a healthy fear and respect for it. Okay, so maybe not afraid is the proper term, but a healthy respect and fear. Because, and what do I mean like by that? Okay, right, uh, you know, if, if someone pulls out in front of you in a car, and you're 80,000 pounds, 100,000 pounds, it takes a long time to stop, doesn't matter, you know. And just because we have more brakes than you do, if you do the conversion, a car has about 2,000 pounds, if you're a heavy car, like five to 2,000 pounds per brake, and a semi has, I think my mom and I thought about it, it was, yeah, well, if you have 10, about 8,000 pounds per brake. So already you're, you're kind of behind the schedule here. So that's where it gets not fun, okay? So with that being said, I said, if people pull out in front of you and everything else, you have to make life and death decisions for them, basically. You know, like, nine times out of ten, the driver of the semi is going to live, okay? But you have to deal with, if you hit that car and think that there's a child in the car, and you kill that child, you're going to live with it forever, whether they're stupid or not, right? And the, the gal in the guard shack, or the skill house, that wants to get the CDL was like, oh, well, you know, people pull out in front of me in my, tr in my car. And I was like, yes, but it's different, okay? Yeah, you could still kill him in a car, but in a semi, you have a greater chance, which is not great to think about, right? I mean, it's just, there's so many things that can happen on a dive. And you can't do anything about it. It's a very scary situation. So anyway, that that's basically the topic. So then later in life, about 1 o'clock is when the wind really started kicking up. Started pouring down rain. And I asked my boss, right? Because on the box truck, we uh, have hydraulics. And we, you know, like a dump truck, basically. We raise the bed up and then gun it forward to get the shit out of the bed or the box right and I asked my boss I was like hey uh, is it a good idea to raise the box up in this wind because like I said it was blowing pretty damn good in about 50 60 gusts okay and he's like well I've never seen a trailer tip over before and I'm like well that's great that, that's comforting right I mean, that just makes me feel all nice, warm, and fuzzy inside. And so he's like, oh, I've never seen it happen, so should be okay. And I'm like, oh, great, should, whatever. And so this this gal, she pipes in and is like, oh, you a chicken? Oh, it pissed me the fuck off. Like, I try not to get mad, you know, like there's there's bigger fish to fry and everything else, but that pissed me off. And I said, as calmly as I could, to, you know, let her know that it didn't get under my skin, even though it did. I said, wind and semis do not mix. And that's all I said. 
And of course, she doesn't know that because she never drove anything of size, she told me. She never drove a box van. She never drove like a U-Haul, not like that. So she don't know that wind and semis, because semi is a giant cell, right? Like, uh, like on a sailboat. That's all it is. It's a giant cell. So when, if you, if you see trucks weaving, it's not always because they're texting or not paying attention, falling asleep, stuff like that. Sometimes that wind's pushing them. And then, you know, you're turning into it so that you stay in your lane, and then that wind stops, and then they weave all over. I've done it many a time. And she doesn't understand that. And that is what's basically very scary about the whole situation, is that she doesn't understand. And I and I was like, you know what? I told my boss. I go, I'm not tra- teaching her anything about a CDL. I said, because if you're that cocky, no, it ain't going to happen. Because I'm not going to let you go out and, you know, potentially kill yourself or somebody else because you're dumbass. Ain't going to do it. So what does this have anything to do with fishing? It, it doesn't, really. But uh, my uh, my own bad, old man buddy that uh, I work with, he uh, he said he, he was coming back from a, from an outside and, and uh, he let a chip truck pass him. You know, she was empty and he was loaded, so he thought it would be nice and let her go by. Well, she went around a corner and, and uh, her front right steer tire blew. She lost control. And the truck jackknifed, hit the rock embankment on the right-hand side, and the trailer slammed up against the rock right in front of them. And, and I'm like, that would scare the holy hell out of you. Because what are you going to do, right? So, I mean, it's just stuff like that, you know. There's so many things, like I was saying, that you can't do anything about. That is absolutely terrifying. You know, you can't sit there and dwell on it. But, I mean, just, you got to have respect for it. So, anyway, long story short, let's go back. Of course they are tired. Why wouldn't they be? All right, let's get you back here. Isaac, uh, I don't have any more food, so let's get you, because you're normally better at everything. Machine gunning is a 12. Uh, let's get Rudy back here. That's going to take him a few few minutes to get that. How, how good are you at machine gunning? A 10. Copy that. So you're, you two are my machine gutters. What about you? What are you good at? Machine gunning is a 10. Not bad. And you are a five, freezing eight. Okay, so you are definitely my freezer. Copy. So now we just have to wait for, I think that's Sadie, to get up there and start working. And then what we'll do is we'll just fast forward a little bit. Going to need more than six lines to fill this boat up. Only got about, how how many pounds have we got? We have over 361,000 pounds. Well, hell. These guys should be rested up a little bit. Hell, if they ain't, they're going to be. Yeah, not necessarily, but we're, we're running out of stuff here, so someone's got to hurry up. All right, so let's go in some more. Ah, eh, the silver hake, I don't understand why that's on the, on the land there, but Rudy's too tired to work. Imagine that. Then we're going to get blocked, of course. Of course. Every, everybody's got to cut out in front of you and do everything stupid, right? I mean, it's just the way life goes. Oh! Whoa! That was strange. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Why are you... Oh, shit. I, I done it. I didn't let him go all the way up so they didn't have anything to do. Shit. Uh, let's see. Actually, here, let's let's just move everybody back. Oh, hello. Move everybody back. We'll skip a few hours. Get them all rested up. There we go. Should be fine now. So then, after we, we get all rested up, skip about six hours or so. And then, everybody should 
Oh, let's do this one so we actually know what we're doing. Everybody should be okay. Let's see. I think you were my... No, you were my stacker, I think. You're my machine gutter. I think Thomas was my machine gutter. You. Oh, come on. You. And you. And you. Okay, I think that's how it went, right? Is that how it went? Yep, that's how it went. Good. Now, are you better at stacking or freezing? And getting freezing. Okay, so you're better at freezing, but you're just going to deal with it anyway. And then once everybody gets back to where they're supposed to be, everybody will be doing fine. Hopefully. Oh, God. Come on. Who are you? Sadie, I think? Move out of my way. Is there any fish underneath us? No. That's fine. Come on, ass wipe. Move out of the way. You can't just park in the middle of the damn channel here. I mean, I guess you could, because that's what you are doing, but whatever. Don't make any sense to me. Good. We'll fast forward here. 40 minutes. Of course, that's going to burn some fuel, but we ain't too worried about it, because it really don't take that much fuel. Here, let's see. Nope, oh, nope, this one. Let's do... Nope, that one. Oh, we have a long ways to go, let me tell you. Alright, so let's skip forward. Eight hour shift. Of course Sadie's too tired to work. Come on. Come on, Sadie. Oh, we have a long ways to go. We still have 144,000 pounds to go, so let's only skip about four hours. Yep, now everybody's tired. Uh, they're still good to go, so let's do another four hours, because then they're going to be tired. This boat needs more more people to work on it, I'll, I'll tell you what. Okay, so you can stack. Look at Pearl, just working hard, man. Just working hard like nobody's business. Just absolutely fantastic. Definitely need to have someone cook on the next trip, because uh, food definitely helps out. But really, nothing is helping out <coughs> on this front. Man, we need, like, speed walkers or something. Look at all these slow jokes. Come on. We have 85,000 pounds that we still need to, uh, to do, so we'll just skip forward another, what, eight hours, and then everybody else... Pearl's and Sadie... Well, Pearl's finally tired, but Sadie's good to go. All right, so you can go here. Let's have you here, and then you might as well be sleeping. Then we'll get everybody where we're supposed to be going. No, 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 no. I don't want you stacking anymore. You're stacking unfrozen stuff. I think. I wish you could see more. 215,000. Well, that's not bad at all. Interesting. There we go. Maybe he's getting... I don't know what he's doing, to be brutally honest with you. Okay, here. You just you just come back over here. Thank you. Not sure what they're doing. Not sure what they're... There we go. Now we're starting to get about 10, 20 pounds a piece. So then what we'll do is we'll just come over here and skip about five hours. And then, of course, Isaac is too tired to work. Emma's going golden again. We'll just throw you there, throw you here. We're just going to sit at the dock all day, you know, because why not, you know? Why not? So all these slow-mos have to come back out. I'm just taking their sweet, ever-loving time. Because why wouldn't you? You know, why would you not want to, uh, you know, come out and take forever to do your job? No, we're paying you an absolute crap ton of money to do. And sadly, we can't do it or else we'd do it. So they're almost here. We don't have anything to get anymore. I guess one here. You cook. It's going to take you forever to cook, but... There we go. Beautiful. There. Now we'll come back in here. I think another eight hours, nine hours. Boom. Pearl is too tired to work. But that's fine. You're doing freaking great. And, okay. Nine hours and you still haven't cooked nothing. 
baloney. Sadie, sorry doll, you need to start cooking something because, well, Rudy probably didn't even get anywhere, to be honest with you. But anyway, let's start doing this. Sell fish on board, $959,000 out of how many pounds? Uh, 360 something. But anyway, not too bad, really. $59,000 for uh, the port revenue. So we only paid him, you know, 40000 which ain't bad at all. 144,000 pounds of haddock, 215,000 pounds of pollock, 648 pounds of redfish, and 490 pounds of silver hake. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. Boom, we're back up to a million. Ain't bad at all. Let's see. Yep, no one's here. All right. Well, anyway, thank you, everybody, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Does truly mean a lot that you guys are here. Let's get these back up to you. Mm, crab is four. Mackerel is all. No, 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 no. Mackerel, thank you. Apparently I only bought nine. That makes no sense. Here, let's buy some more. 10,000. Let's buy... Uh, 20 if I can do it. No, 21. Has to be 21. There we go. 21. Then we'll bait them again. So we need... So we got... We have 10. So we need to do 11. Oh, nope. Oh, it's so touchy. Just... Nope. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. Right. Now, oh, boom. 11 of mackerel. Why did that not do anything? What in the world... Okay, that didn't do anything. I want ten of mackerel. Ten, ten to note ten. Thank you. Thank. Why is it doing that? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, fine. Can I do ten of frickin' crab? Whatever. So we got fifteen lines of both. <laughs> that don't make any sense. Okay, whatever. So, anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. This truly mean a lot, and I'll catch you all on the next one. And you all, take care. Bye.